your girl Renee and I am outside in my backyard and I am about to plant my flocks that I found at Lowe's in my previous video that you guys were um, along with me when I said that these were $6.98. Well, this is where I'm going to be planting them. This is where I want my flocks to be down this whole line down here. I'm not sure about this. This one right here, this linen one, because I'm thinking this one right here will be cute in the middle of my planting. So I'm going to plant one just to see if I like it. So I thought it would be cute right here in the center, right there, to kind of like give it some contrast to the whole pink, the pink flock, and then this linen this lemon coral right here, lemon ball sedum, I thought would be cute to have it right in the front. So, I am going to take you with me and I'm going to show you how I'm going to plant one of these so you'll know exactly what I'm doing in my garden today. And the things I'm going to be using is I'm going to use some of this um, biotone starter. I'm going to put some of that in the hole so it'll give the roots a nice little boost and a good start to keep them healthy and to be able to grow from now until next year. All right, so let me get you close by where I am in the hole so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Got to put my gloves on. So let me put you on down so you can see the hole. See if y'all can see what I see. Move you up a little bit. Can you see the hole so you'll be able to see? Yep. All right, so I have already dug the hole as deep as I can in order to get this plant in here. So I'm just going to dig it deep in here. Make sure my plant will be able to fit. Need a little bit bigger hole. Dig it, dig. All right, and then I'm going to put some of this biotone into this hole. And I usually just do a little handful and just sprinkle it inside the hole and mix it in real good. And then I'm going to get the plant out. As you see, this one has a really nice root ball, so I don't really have to loosen it up much. See, so that looks really good. Now, I always put water in my hole. So I'm going to put some water in that hole. And then I'm going to put this and find the best side. Of this plant and I think this side looks the best so I'm just gonna put it in there isn't that cute already isn't that beautiful I think it looks gorgeous then I'm gonna get some dirt that I have back here behind me and I'm just gonna put some dirt all around it some dirt give it some good dirt put it in there sprinkle it all around and then I'm just gonna tuck that baby in tuck it in putting the baby to sleep tucking that baby in just rest of the dirt that I have. I'll just sorry, I got airplanes and stuff flying around me because I'm not far from the the marine base. So that's one. So that is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my plants. And just look at it. It's all nice and pretty. 
Now, these are flocks. These are perennials. And they will come back every single year. And when they lose their flowers, then it'll look just like grass. So that'll give me a two interest. One would be with flowers. And then the second part of this lovely flocks will be like a carpet of grass. And they're supposed to spread. So we shall see if they spread. And I'm hoping they cover all this part. Then this one will cover all this part all the way down. And then the next thing you guys will see me planting will be my purple um, petunias. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be fabulous. This is the best part of gardening is being able to have a vision and then see it come to life. But these should do really well because um, we're supposed to get rain tomorrow. So that's why I'm trying to get them in the ground now so that they'll get a good drink of Mother Nature's magical water. So I will put you on pause and then when I come back, you guys will see all these planted. All right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Guys, here is the finished product. Now, this is going to be the, print, the pink phlox in the front. Then I'm going to have my tulips blooming. And then I will have my white shasta daisies. So this whole area right here should be a showstopper. A big pop of color. So remember that one lemon ball that I said I'm going to plant to see if I like it? I think I like it. So I think I'm going to go purchase some more of these right here. And I'm going to put them in between each one of my pink flocks. I think that would be pretty. So I wanted to come and let you guys see exactly what it. my vision is starting to come together. Can you guys imagine when it all blooms, when the tulips are in bloom and my flocks are looking good and then I have that lemon ball sedum all the way planted all the way down to that last one? That's going to be gorgeous. So it is now starting to come together. And let me tell you, when I was digging down at the end of that tree down there, this is what Miss Renee was digging. Was I should say, I was fighting with this big old root, this tree root. Me and this thing was having a tug of war. But guess who won? I did, I did, I won, I won. So this bad boy is going in the trash. Goodbye, Root. Not going to stop me from bringing my vision to life. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, break it all nice and clean. And then I will continue to, I don't know if I should put some flocks over in that pot. I'm thinking I want to do something dramatic with that pot. When I go back to Lowe's to get some more of those lemon balls, I'm going to look and see what I can find over there. Maybe they'll have some cool um, bulbs. I was thinking get another one of those black lilies right there. My envision is maybe two more black lilies so that will be beautiful against that white fence and all this area over here would tie in together with the other black lilies oh, don't tell me rocky has been digging in this pot again oh my gosh look at this look what he did this is one of my bulbs look that squirrel me and that squirrel we don't have a problem I don't know if he ate this bulb or what. Let's see. Rocky better stay out of, I don't think he ate it. I think he just dug it out. <sighs> Me and that squirrel. Where's my, did he take my other bulb out? Let's put, first, let's dig this one back in. Maybe I gotta dig it in deeper. That crazy squirrel. We'll just dig it in deeper. Nope, he didn't find the other uh, black lily. We'll close that up. 
but he did dig over here in this hole. But did he take the bowl belt? Oh, he was digging where that black lily. Oh, he didn't get it. So let's cover that back up. Me and this squirrel are gonna have, I'm gonna have to put that squirrel in time out. Let's see over here. If he did any damage over here. Nope, he didn't get this one. But I don't know. I think he was just messing around in this pot. Let's cover that bulb up. So he won't be getting that either. I'm going to put that squirrel in time out. Because he is loving this pot over here. I, I bet. This is what I think. I think Rocky be watching me when I'm out here digging and doing stuff. And then he waits for me to leave. And then he comes out and digs up stuff. Ugh. All I want is to be able to see that black lily bloom. I think we all better put that black um, lily in like a prayer group. We better do a prayer circle around those two pots to prevent Rocky from letting that black lily grow. Oh, all right. That's that's what I'm asking for you guys to help me put uh, a serious prayer over those two planters so it will prevent Rocky from stopping those plants from growing and also that black lily from growing because we all want to see that black lily. Can the church say amen, 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 amen. Whew. But back to what I was saying, I really like this lemon ball sedum this is beautiful and then with the color of that pink phlox i think it's going to be amazing and then i have my other my irises over there my daffodils and irises are going to be coming up and then back here is a day lily and this is going to be a tulip here and i also have a tulip growing right here so we just have to wait for the show to begin. And as soon as these flowers start popping, I will come out and make a video so you guys can see exactly what I see. All right, so I'll end this video right here on this lovely flock. All right, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. And don't forget, send some prayers my way to prevent Rocky from stopping our black lily from growing. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.